Hi, so uh, this week I've been working in a town in Wales called Aberystwyth. Um, whilst I was there, uh, I found a, a shop uh, called Game Park. First time I've, I've ever found, I've ever seen it. Um, went in, absolute treasure trove. Um, Walter, like load, loads of retro games in there, there's DVDs, but I got chatting to the owner and he said he was getting rid of those uh, to make room for more games. They've got some... They've got everything in there basically, um, from yeah, like the the old uh, sort of eight bits all the way up to modern. There was stuff in drawers that you had to sort of go through. Um, yeah, it was like a real sort of like an old treasure trove. Um, so I picked up a few bits. Um, thought I'd share um, the things that I sort of picked up. Uh, give them a try. Um, one of the games I've already tried. So uh, I know that one's working, but the rest of them I, I've not tried yet. So uh, yeah, there's a few games uh, and a system and a good uh, peripheral accessory that um, that I've always wanted to sort of get my hands on. Um, so yeah, let's let's crack on. So I'll go through the master system pickups first, um, purely because that's the system that, that I've got hooked up in front of me. Um, the first one is Global Gladiators. So this one I played back in the day. This was obviously un unboxed. Um, need All of them, to be honest, need a little bit of a clean. So I don't know how many of them are going to work first time when they, when they go into uh, the, the console. Um, so I've got some... Uh, like cotton swabs and some contact cleaner probably end up having to give most of them a clean actually to, to get them running but we'll see what happens um so yeah these master system games uh were all in a drawer it was awesome you open the drawer um and there was no label on the drawer so i just opened it up and then there was just master system games in there it was awesome just sort of sort of rifling through all these games yeah it was really good so global gladiators i played back in the day is 2d platformer um Obviously, a port of the the sixteen bit version, very much like um, pretty quick to be honest. It is very much like a, a Sonic really. With a imagine Sonic with a goo gun <laughs> collecting McDonald M's, and you pretty much got global gladiators. So yeah, that's that one. Um, oh, sorry about the squeaky chair. If that's coming through, um, it's a new chair. So I don't think it's quite better than yet. The next one was uh, was Asterix. So as you can see, this one's boxed. Um, no instructions. Oh, there is instructions. There is instructions in this one. Um, this was another one that I played uh, back in the day. If I remember right, it was it was pretty pretty easy. Um, you had to sort of go through uh, and collect like these little potions, and they give you like power ups. Um, but this one was. A bit slower, I think. If I remember right, this one was a bit slower compared to like Global Gladiators. Um, yeah, so like I say, it's got the box, it's got the instructions, and, and they've got prices as well on these, to be fair. A couple of them have got prices on as well. Um, yeah, awesome game. Like I say, not, not too long, it's pretty well, a lot of them were back then, pretty, pretty easy. Um, and the next one, uh, the Ninja. For again for the Sega Master System, you see the price on this one. It's a three pound. Um, yeah. <laughs> again, this is another one that I played back in the day. Um, if you imagine Akari Warriors, if you ever played Akari Akari Warriors, then it's pretty much the Ninja. Um, yeah, I mean, instead of shooting guns, you're throwing like shurikens. Um, Top down vertical scrolling shoot 'em up. Uh, it's two player, um, and it's a pretty good little good little game. Uh, we'll get this next one out of the way. So the next one was uh, Black on the on the original Xbox. This one um, with the disc and the instructions. Um, just go back to the Ninja. I don't think this one had instructions. It was just a car. I think yeah, just a cartridge there. So, black on Xbox, the original Xbox. 
already tried this one out. I know this one works. I've had this in the Xbox One. Um, played it for about half an hour. Uh, yes, it's a class shooter. Played it on the PS2. Um, but when I saw this, it was a good price as well. Um, so yeah, I had to pick it up. Get it on the Xbox One. All those sort of graphical enhancements and everything else. Yeah, no brainer to be honest. Awesome game. The next one, ISS sixty four. Um, what is it to say about ISS? This this was the the follow up to uh, the N sixty uh, the Super Nintendo game, I think. Awesome game. Um, it came out on the PS one as well. Um, and yeah, just a class sort of arcade football game really. And again, just about the price up on there maybe. £2.50, so again, it was cart only. Um, but yeah, good grief, a bit of dust in there. Yeah, if you can, I made that out, gross. <sighs> yeah, I'll have to get that out later. Um, yeah, good game. Good game. Uh, what should we do next? What should we do? Let's do the console and then we'll do the peripheral and game. So uh, I've got chatting to the owner about um, a game and a peripheral. Um, I mentioned that my PS2 doesn't play PS1 games anymore. Um, it should be a straightforward fix. I've just got to get around to buying a drive for a CD drive for it and and, uh, and replace the drive on it. So yeah, I just, just got chatting, just mentioned it. Um, and yeah, he, he kind of, yeah, he, he was really kind and, and sort of threw in um, a PS1 for me. Um, so there we go. I'm now a PS1 owner. Um, good condition, a little bit of fading on, on, on there, but colour discoloration. But yeah, I don't, I don't really care to be honest. Awesome, awesome guy. Thanks, thanks a lot. Um, I don't actually know if it works. Sure it does, but we'll, uh, we'll get it hooked up. And uh, Oh yeah, so as you can see there, it's just console, no cables, uh, but I've got PS2 control pads, they work. It's just the standard um, sort of eight power cord. Got loads of them. Um, AV out port. Again, I've got, I don't know, Hundreds, hundreds of cables, hundreds of AV cables. So yeah, no problem that, that there wasn't any cables with it. Uh, the next thing, what should we do? Let's let's show the let's show the gun first. So a G Um It came with the, the little adapter as well. There we go. Um, yeah, ten pound. As you can see, upside down there. Um, The, the trigger's in good condition. Overall, the gun needs a clean up, um, which I'll probably do in another video. Um, I, I've not stripped one down before, uh, so I'm guessing it shouldn't be too complicated. Just maybe a couple of PCBs and some optics, really. Um, so yeah, we'll strip that down, give it a clean up. The outside is pretty grimy, so that needs a good clean. Um, just a bucket of water and some soap, to be honest, and a toothbrush, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, and we'll get that tested and, and make sure it works again. I'm sure it does. And the game was Point Blank 2. So this one came with instructions as well as the disc. And what is there to say about Point Blank 2? Uh, awesome game. Played it loads back in the day. It used to be a Namco arcade back in Nottingham um, that had this and it had Point Blank 1. It had, yeah, all, all, like the Sega racing games. Awesome. It was, uh, yeah, quality little arcade. Uh, not there anymore, unfortunately, but yeah. So I was desperate to sort of try and relive uh, some light gun memories and I've got played most of the light gun games on the, on the Wii. Um, and this this was just one that I'd be desperate to sort of play again. Um, again, I'm still missing the first one, so I'll get around to picking up the first one at some stage. In general, see generally 
uh, quite a bit at like shows and stuff like that. So yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to pick up. But yeah, point blank two, awesome. Right, um, what we'll do, I'm gonna have a drink and then we'll fire up the master system and see what works and what needs a clean. Right then, uh, we've got the master system mark one set up. I've got three games ready to go. Let's get the, the TV on. Just listen to the VHS heads kick in. Remote. There we go, and AV. Run the, I'm using the, an RGB SCART cable. Uh, so we'll just make sure one of my systems working first. And if it is, it will boot through to, hang on. There we go, right. Cool, so hang on's working, my system's working. Cool, right. First one we're gonna try is Global Gladiator. Let's, let's get that in. And power and let's see if it works. So here we go. Oh nice. So one out of one then, it works. Awesome. Awesome. Bit of product placement. A lot of product placement in this. And just make sure it's in the options kid okay so you can choose which kid you play as okay so one is jump uh, two is shoot but it seems seems to be playing okay Sure, what that is, right? Yeah, so that, that's working okay. Little goo shooter, if I remember, yeah, there we go. So, when you get up to when you get up to full speed, there you are. It's, it's like playing a Sonic game, really, but we've got a goo gun. Oh, so that one works. Asterix. There we go. No way, two out of two. Well, I've got my cotton swabs and I've got my contact cleaner. I don't know if I'm going to need it. I'll obviously give them a clean. Um, so I'll, what I'll do, I'll get a one cart and just and just give it a clean. Just make sure it boots up. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Castle of Illusion, actually. I don't know if it's just because of those, those little trees, I don't know. But yeah, absolutely classic. It is really good. Good little two. Oh, I remember now you need uh, Oblix to, to take out the big, the big stones. Thank you. 
So yeah, each character can go through the level in, in different ways, I can't remember now. There we go. Yeah. What I'll probably do is video these and capture them, capture them as a, as a long play and then at some stage the ninja. Well, is it gonna be three out of three? No, it's not. <laughs> ah. uh, okay, let's just give it a little go. Just to make sure. Right, okay. So we've got one. It doesn't work. What we do? Just turn that off. And I'll grab a cotton swab. So I'll just make sure it comes through okay. These are the little swabs I'm using. It's just a plastic swab with a little sort of cotton bit on the end. Um, and electronic cleaning solvent. So what I'll do, I'll just, I don't know if you can see it. What I'll do, I'll pop that down. There we are. So you should be able to see it now. So I'll just spray some into the lid rather than, you could just sort of spray it sort of straight down in, into there and clean direct. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting that, to be honest. Um, and then just sort of mop a little bit up like that. And then take the cotton swab and just sort of rub it inside. On one side. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Turn it over and then again just use the clean side and go down the other side of it. That one that side's not as bad. Still dirty though. And I'll just get the little plastic I'll wipe just inside as well. What I'll do, I'll probably do this on all, all three games, to be honest. There we go. Uh, I imagine this will work now. Get that in. I'll get that out of the way. this will probably work now. Uh, I've not cleaned the contacts on the master system, didn't do them that long ago. Ah. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Mm, that looks okay, the contacts look okay. Uh, let's give them another clean. And we'll go direct onto the contacts this time. Just give them a good, give them a good sort of dose. Um, it evaporates off anyway, so it's not sort of going to stay behind and corrode or anything. So. Hopefully, yeah, still bringing up a little bit of dirt. So I'm 
just while that dries. I'll do. In fact, we'll get a clean one. And put a bit of contact cleaner on the uh, on the swab, and then just sort of dab it through the cartridge slot because it was because the cart was dirty. What I don't want to have done is transferred anything over onto the onto the contacts in the uh, in the cartridge slot. So that should be clean. Yeah, a little bit dirty, not too bad. Let's get another go. Out of the way. There we go. We're working now. So one player. Tough as nails, this, if I remember right. I'm not sure how I'm blocking them. as nails tough as nails but at least it is working again let's go with the old off and on again just to double check it and yeah we're good to go um what we'll do now then i'll get the n64 set up get back on give iss a quick try um and then we'll get the playstation set up so, got the N64 set up again. It's on. Oh, it's a, a card cable. I can get my words out of there. Uh, into the back, and we go with ISS 64. Now this one is pretty gunked up. I'm not sure if that's gonna come up on there. Yeah, well, there's a big chunk of dust in there, so we'll get that out straight away. And the contacts on it are pretty disgusting as well. Let's let's put it in. I I don't think it'll work, but let's put it in anyway. And then onto the UB two. Oh, it has worked. Oh, there we go. Well, I am shocked. I didn't expect that to, uh, to work first time. All I want to do is basically just see it. Basically, all I want to do is make sure it goes through, which I think it will do. Welcome to this live broadcast. This is glorious football. It's Germany versus England. Yeah, I'm not sure how well it's, it's picking up. But there we go. We're working. 
Scott. England are playing from right to left. Germany are playing from left to right. He still has possession. He plays a long ball. Not enough legs on the pass. A valiant attempt, but poor. He passes it back. Ball is passed off. Oh, you could just end up, you could just sit and play this. But, uh, commentary is dreadful. <laughs> awesome, well it, it's working. Um, but I'm going to give it a clean anyway, just because it's pretty gross. Uh, we'll just go straight on and turn that off. There we go. Um, and yeah, we'll just go straight in onto the contacts. Shake the any residue. And I mean, I can see, I can see the dust on the car, on the on the contacts. It's pretty great. I'm surprised it worked, to be honest. And like the inside of it as well. Loads better. I suppose I better check it's still working now. Um to get that out of the way. On that's in there. Yeah, of course it is. Cool. Awesome. Right. Um. Let's get that off. Um, let's get the PlayStation set up then. Okay, so we're going with a uh, composite connection for this one. Uh, this is the PlayStation that I picked up then. So again, we're using the PS2 controller. Um, I haven't plugged it in. That's not going to work. Right, I'm <laughs> plugged in now. Uh, let's get the TV on. Um, I've put in um, a, one of my own discs, not point blank two, just basically, I know this works because I played it on the PS3 fairly recently. And it's a, cop a copy of uh, Bubble Bobble and Rainbow Islands. So, like I say, I know it works because I played it on the PS3. This on two, I imagine it'll be AV one. And let's see what it does. Oh. Nostalgia right there. Games need to bring back FMVs. There's not enough FMVs in games anymore. Right, uh, what should we go with? Let's go with... Let's go with Bubble Bobble. I played Rainbow Islands last time, so we'll go with Bubble Bobble. And we'll just give it a quick blast, make sure she's working. Let's start game. I had this on the Master System back in the day, which I've obviously just been playing. I 
it's me, it seems really slow. I don't remember it doing this. I played it right now. It's almost like the dropping frame or something. Oh well. There we go. Let's get out there before it turns red. Awesome game. Obviously there's loads of power-ups that you get, so you can shoot bubbles further, you can shoot them quicker, you can run quicker. There we are, so I can fire off bubbles quicker now. On, when you die, obviously you lose your, uh, your power-ups. But I know, that, yeah, happy days, it's, it's working. I could just sit here and play this all night now. But I won't, because I've got to try out point blank. <laughs> Right, so I know it's working. What I'll do, I'll try point blank with just a disc. And then. I'll try and figure out how to um, connect up the gun. Which is all wrapped up at the moment. Audio out, video out. Alright, so that's working then, just booting through. So I'll just switch it off a minute. Turn the TV off. Pause the video, just want to figure out how to connect up the, uh, the cables. Right then. So in terms of setup, all we've got is the composite cable sort of piggy I'll take that out so the gun con came with um, this little sort of two-piece composite cable which is attached to the control plug it goes in there and then I'm pretty sure this two-piece just sort of piggybacks onto your uh, video in. That's what it looks like anyway. Um, so, a little bit. I haven't used this. I haven't got this in. I think this is so you can you can use a, a an EV adapter. Um, I haven't got one of those at the moment. No, oh, where am I? Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. What we'll do when I do the clean up video, we'll have a little play with this and we'll see if we can uh, use that, see if it makes any difference. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but we'll give it a go, see what it does. Uh, right, let's see if we've got this connected up properly. Get the TV on. Let's have to wait and see. Right. So, 
Hmm? Okay. Well, it's loading anyway. Awesome. Nearly on a, on a bigger CRT now, really. I have to, uh, I have to try and convince the, the wife that I need a bigger CRT. Right, let's see if this works. Move the chair back a little bit. Calibrate the gun. So aim at the sensor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I think that's A. Oh yeah, okay, it says it on the side, so A, it says it on the sides, A and B. Drunk to load options data, yeah. let's just go straight in. One bank castle. I'm guessing this is just the, the arcade mode, Point Blank Castle. But that's how cool is that? Everything. Enjoy this. Okay, there we are. Everything works. Um, yeah, can't, can't say any better than that, really. I'd say things need a little bit of a tidy up, but I'm happy to do that. When you're getting stuff at a lower price, I don't care about tidying things up. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. And let's go for a beginner. Now, if I remember this right, the, the cards will turn over and they'll reveal the target and you shoot the target. So, shoot all the targets, no limit. There we go. Now, I remember on the uh, arcade June cons. I think the G-Con 2, it had a recoil. So it definitely loses a little bit. Not having any recoil on the gun, but yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, everything works. Including the gun. Um, but what I will do is another video. Um, where we just, what I'll do, I'll strip down the gun um, and just give it a good sort of clean down. Like I say, there's only going to be a PCB in there, maybe two PCBs, I imagine. Uh, some optics for the laser. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just a little bit of gunk, really. Stuff like, I don't know if it can quite make it out, really, on the trigger there. Yeah, so yeah. I'll do that in another video. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to play a bit of Point Blank too. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Um, subscribe, and yeah, check out uh, some of my old videos and um, later videos if you're watching this after I've made more videos. Cool, thanks. <laughs>